Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to more Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion. In this part, I have the I have a shameful, shameful thing to admit. I forgot and confused Shadenhall and Choral. Coral. That's clearly never happened to anyone that's ever played Oblivion before. Anyways, in this part, we speak to him. Burzgrow Kosh. I've got another contract for you, Meat. I assume you won't embarrass yourself. Ooh, contract. Certainly. This position maxed. Okay, contract. It's from Vienna Amelian at the Water's Edge Settlement. She needs something retrieved from her ancestral tomb. Try not to muck it up. Okay. Be an Amelian. Tell me about her. You'll find her at the Water's Edge settlement. It's marked on your map. But what if I don't want to go there? Arl your carcass to that settlement, meat. Rude. Oh, it's my pleasure. Nothing from don't you. Nothing. Now, Water's Edge is... Wow, what? Why is it... Why was it in... There's a Leowin Guild. Why did they go there? Never mind. All right. All right. It's going to be another one of those episodes filled with mild interruptions. Let's enter her house. You're not supposed to be in here. Shush. Hello. You must be from the Fighters Guild. I'm glad you're here. I need your help to repay a debt. What debt? Oh, tell me about yourself first, though. I am Bianna Amelian. That... don't... that... that's it? Okay, what about the debt? I'm afraid so. My father had a bit of an issue with gambling. I'm afraid he built up a rather large debt. Now that he's gone, the debt is mine. How much is the debt? A great deal over a thousand septims. My father was quite a gambler. Quite a bad gambler. Where is your father? Gone. Dragged from our house in the night. To pay the debt, I'd like to sell the sword and armor of my grandfather, or I might be next. Frightening. The sword and armor? They were buried with my grandfather in the family tomb. The sword and cuirass were enchanted and should cover my debt. Please get them for me. Huh. All right. Where are the sword and armor? Not far in my family's ancestral tomb. Here, I, I can mark it on your map. Please return them to me so I can pay off my father's debts. The sword, okay. You're my only... So, uh, this is one option I will save here so we don't have to do that again. But let's reload that autosave and speak to her and pay Hello. off the debt ourselves. I... I'm... Agree... I'm... Take this money for your debt. Are you certain? I can't thank you enough. Please, though, if you decide to retrieve the sword and armor, keep them. At least until I can repay you. How's the debt going? I can't tell you how much your help means to me. Thank you again. It's worth it. I'm so... So, after saving there, let's go and turn in this quest. It'll be done. It'll be over. That Just that simple. Just that easy. I wonder how Burr's Grokash will feel. Huh. Either way, as per the norm... For every Fighter's Guild quest, you get a level-dependent amount of gold for completing this. And if you choose to loot the tomb, the two pieces of armor in there are valued at over a thousand septums? I forgot the exact amount, but I know it's over a thousand of them. So it's worth it. You get your return value and you get your return value in your cash. You need to finish out the contract with Bienna Amelian in Water's Edge. What's the status? 
Hey, be in. Paid her debt off yourself, did you? Not gonna get rich that way, meat. Still, the job's done. Here's your payment. Advancement? We aren't deserving of it. Let's reload. Ah, and now we're gonna go loot that tomb. Okay. Shouldn't be hard to get there. Ooh, just a simple sheep? I'm sorry, I got so used to the controls of other things, of other games for driving, specifically Red Faction, that I genuinely forgot the, uh... Hope he has a silver sword. I forgot the way to turn the horse in this game. Now, we don't have a million's tomb already unlocked, so we're gonna have to go there manually. I know, it sounds like a blast, doesn't it? There's quite a few wisps around, and normally I'd be afraid of fighting them, but money and rare ingredients. Plus, now we can just two-shot them with a really powerful magic spell. Ha. <sighs> Let's make our way over here. And from here, it'll be very easy to cross the lake. We could easily fast travel to the other side, but there's nothing that we have that's really super close. So, this is the second best option. Actually, it is the best option. The second best option is finding another place that's nearby. There's a sad lack of water drags in this game. Oh, a Nern Root. Yes, I know, I didn't grab it. I'm saving that for a different video. Yeah. One where I just run around grabbing all the Nern Root I can find. You guys owe me for that one. Actually, you don't owe me anything. Thank you for watching. Alright, into a Melian's Tomb. Protect life, night vision. Okay. Ah, the undead. The undead with no head. Yeah, just stay in your corner. Thank you. So this place is indeed filled with undead. And that is not pleasant for me. Me specifically. I don't like fighting the undead. You get way too many diseases that way. At least it's not like Daggerfall, where in which the diseases cripple you for the next five minutes of your living life. Okay. No. Uh, my willpower has been damaged. No. That is really difficult to restore because of uh, how I've been a terrible person to people. You know how many people I've murdered? Too many. Okay. How much was it damaged? Oh, 10 points. It It's not that bad, but it's not good. Let's equip Hatred's Heart for this. Ah. I love not doing a lot of damage. This is a great way to get up my blunt skill, though. I will not complain. There we go. Some bone meal.
Ah. Ooh, auto attempt. Elven shield, no. Just no. Everyone and their mother has glass armor, so uh, it's not really worth it. Alright, which way did I come from and which way did I go? Oh. Okay. Well, I'll go to the end of the hallway then. And harvest the whisk caps along the way. Okay. Very hard to unlock coffin. Gold, a bone. Okay, but what's the other way? Ah! Oh, Jesus. There's a chest. Bah. You win this round, game. That's just a random loot chest. It doesn't actually have anything too big or too important in it. But it's unfortunately disappointing that we did not get through. Okay. Ah, three zombies. It's not that bad. Let's get out Hatred's soul. You don't see me. I love that the perception of these guys is just so low. <sighs> oh, and you have especially low health. You're just a regular headless zombie, aren't you? Oh, hey. I'm supposed to be dead from that. And you are a dread zombie. You're a scary one. The good news is, though, you have a consistent glow, so I won't have to worry about recasting Detect Life to be able to see you. Come on. Just die. I know you want to live, but you're dead. So. Oh, why did I think he was in the wall? What's wrong with me? And the bad part is, I actually have good vision for what's going on on the screen. Because I am recording with one very large screen and one small screen off to the side so I can see better what's going on. So I would, I should be able to see exactly what's happening. But alas, for some reason, I cannot. Detect life. Anything in here? No. But there's coffins to loot. There should be. A skull, just a regular skull. Fishing waders, no thanks. No thanks. A sarcophagus chamber. Further deep we go. Oh no. Is that what I think it is? Oh my god, they're all licks. Oh no. Okay. Hope for the best. This is actually going to be a challenging fight. It's not inherently a bad thing, but uh, I do not have good equipment for that.
Come on, just die. Stop absorbing my spells. Oh, what's going on? Everything froze. Nice. All right, so we've pretty much won. Oh, he flipped out of existence? What is this, the NES? Does it have sprite flickering? Be extra weird, because these aren't sprites. Oh, okay, I'll, I'll be back when I get back to the sarcophagus area. Hey there, everyone. I got a little bit luckier this time. And, uh, I didn't get swarmed by netherlicks. Just two skeletons, their own summons. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank goodness. Yeah, there was a skeleton right here at the door. There's one right over here. He had a, yeah, a claymore of scorching. What is it? Oh, it's a dwarven claymore of scorching. That's, that's a good one. Uh, yeah, totally. Uh, and then there was one nether lick right over here. He's dead, though. I don't know where his staff went. I don't even know if he had a staff, actually. Ah, well. Yeah, I did not want to have to fight them, but it looks like we're going to have to. Hope there's no more. Oh, come on. All right. So there's another lick over there and a wraith. He summoned it. And this is my storm atronach. I do not like wraiths. Especially gloom wraiths. Gloom wraiths are significantly worse. Oh boy. That hit a lot harder than I wanted it to. Yeah, these guys... Necromancy is such a prevalent thing in this game. And this just shows it so much more. No, 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 no. I didn't save. <sighs> yeah, you guys can do your thing over there. I'm not going to stop you. Okay, how's everything going? Oh, dear. Ooh, thank goodness. Ooh, my illusion skill increased. Oh. Bruce of a Vermilion's sword. And Bruce of a Vermilion's curious. Ebony dagger, iron arrow, potion of the sea, some gold, another coffin, mace of abiance. Weird. I have retrieved the ceremonial sword and armor from the Emilian tomb. I should return them to be in Emilian. And the game gives you a shortcut. It's, it's kind of necessary for a dungeon like this, where in which there's the possibility that you might have gotten uh, cornered by other enemies. I totally didn't do that my first time through. No, I did not. Which way is out? Okay, this way. Yeah, I have a tendency to, uh, when I'm playing by myself, to just run by the enemies, summon something, and just keep going. 
It's unfortunate that summons really aren't strong enough to deal with things on their own. Unless you're playing, I guess, Morrowind, where in which you can summon a thing and it'll kill the other thing for you. Where's my enemy? Oh, hi. Yeah, they're so tough. So tough. I think they're a little bit crabby for me killing all their brothers and sisters. Anyways. Off we go. To water's edge. Ooh. Edward. Edward O? Oh? Is he purple and big and fuzzy? Hello again. Have you had any luck finding the sword and armor? The sword and armor? You found them? Fantastic! I can't tell you what this means to me. Here are the sword and armor. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hopefully I'll be able to sell these for enough to pay my debt. You're a lifesaver. How's the debt? I can't tell you how much your help means to me. Thank you again. Oh. I'll never forget this. This one makes me feel a lot worse. Don't quite know why. Anyways, back in Chadenal here. Alright, that's the Mage's Guild. Uh... Down here. We get this line of dialogue if we do things this way. Actually, where did he go? Why are there... What? Was that a butterfly? Oh, yeah. He's down on the bottom floor then. I don't know. Something felt weird. Ah, uh, having dinner. You need to finish out the contract. Be in a million. Got a sword and armor for her, huh? Not bad work, meat. Here's your payment for the contract. Ah. Uh, you advancement? You're due for advancement. I hereby name you Protector of the Fighters Guild. Am I really a protector, though? Do you have another contract for me? In the next episode? Farewell. Thank you all for watching. If you like my stuff, like, comment, subscribe. Check my Patreon, Coffee, and Twitter in the description if you want to support my channel. Thank you all, and I hope you have a wonderful evening. In the next episode, we're going to be taking on the quest, The Master's Son. See you guys then. Bye.